uh, the sad passing of uh, renowned human rights lawyer George Bezos. Mum um, Sophie, let's bring you in uh, once again. Uh, the last time you spoke uh, to George Bezos, uh, you, you were uh, articulating on uh, you know, some of the things that he shared pertaining to uh, you know, how difficult it was uh, to achieve uh, democracy in South Africa and the role that many others played. He was an optimist and mm -hmm. all the time when we interacted with him, when I spoke to him, he was a person who knew very well that uh, no matter how difficult it can be, uh, uh, evil cannot triumph over good. And he was uh, a living example and he would talk about, uh, relate stories with the Rivonia trialist in particular. I mean, his relationship with uh, those uh, uh, seniors who were there, who stood there, who could have been hanged, but they were still strong. You'd recall Madiba's famous words uh, when he was facing uh, a very difficult moment, all of them, but uh, he was there to support them. And people like uh, Chief Justice, uh, Chief Atta Chaskalson, our former uh, constitutional court head, uh, uh, was there also working with uh, uh, George Bezos. You have people like uh, uh, the, the, the former Supreme Court of Appeal head also who was there to support them. And of course, Bram Fisher. And therefore, you, you can see that this was a complete different breed. When I look at people like uh, Mugai Tobi, when I look at people like uh, uh, Advocate Nzebeza, when I look at people like uh, Advocate Marumo Mirani, uh, it, it speaks to what they have learned to these men and women uh, who were there to support uh, uh, the struggle and who didn't mind to be uh, pe perhaps sidelined by their relatives because at that time uh, it was not fashionable you know mm -hmm. to identify with uh, with the struggle because you could lose your life or your well-being or or your families and therefore they didn't care they stood there they supported them uh, i think uh, these are some of uh, the lessons that we must learn but also teach our children to mm -hmm. know that uh, it was not an easy road where we are today and therefore we must at all times be responsible and also have that compassion leadership must be about compassion leadership must about must be about commitment and to serve the people not yes. to serve ourselves so we'll come back to you very shortly and uh, you know uh, I'm glad that you mentioned uh, the likes of Arthur Chaskolson and your Joel Joffies who were also part of uh, that uh, a group or caliber of uh, human rights lawyers your Harold Hansons as well uh, let's speak to the legal fraternity now uh, Jeff Butlender SC joins me uh, now on the line uh, uh, Butlender and uh, Bezos uh, founded the Legal Resources Center in uh, 1979 along with uh, Arthur, Arthur Chaskolson uh, Africa Butlender thank you very much uh, for your time uh, this evening. Just talk to us about those early days uh, in a very different world, I guess. Yes, well, I, I first met George in 1976 when I was a young article clerk, and he was already a fairly senior advocate, very experienced. Uh, and he was, a, he was a man with a passion for justice. He, he cared about justice for people. For his justice, he, he represented men in, in our national life. He also represented ordinary people who were struggling for their rights. And he loved, he was passionate about that work. The stories he loved to tell most, the stories of his work that people who were being arrested for protesting against the past laws up in the rural areas of, of, of the Northern Transvaal, as it then was. He, he, those, those stories captured who he was, that these were people who were struggling for freedom, and nothing made George happier than to be part of that struggle and to contribute to it through his legal work. And uh, one would uh, certainly argue that he did that uh, un until the end. He was very passionate about uh, people and uh, really despised uh, anything that trampled on uh, uh, the rights of uh, the downtrodden, the ordinary mass. Sure. Yeah, that was... That was his client. I mean, he's, he's famous for representing the great leaders. And he did that, and he was very good at that. But he, he didn't do just that. He was representing for, for, I don't know how many years, 50 years probably, mm -hmm. represented people who were really at the most vulnerable. And he did that when he started his career, at a time when it was deeply unpopular to do it. Uh, other people in the legal profession generally weren't willing to do it. And George was there 
out there every day, every week, fighting for the, for the rights of ordinary people at the most difficult time in our history. Jeff Butler, the SE, thank you very much indeed uh, for your time.